Hi, my name's Mindy. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a my favorite books and least favorite books of the year and my statistics of the year for this for this video and um, and then I think I'll do a short video on my reading goals for next year. Sorry. Sorry about the lighting. Um, wanted to get this done and I'm sitting in front of the window with slats and the sun 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 is shining through so but anyway um my favorite books of this year oh i had quite a few i had a really good reading year this year most of my books that i read were four stars or, high, or most of them were four stars um that was the average of the books i read um I will say that the my favorite reading books this year were Renegade, which I listened to on audio by Marissa Meyer. I gave that a four stars. I'm going to continue that. I like I've liked everything I read by Miss Marissa Meyer. Um, so, and then the next one was Sith, the um, the first in the arc of Sith. I also listened to this on audio by Neil Schusterman, and I gave that a five stars. I really like Neil Schusterman. I like his, uh, um, his writing style and his stories and everything. So, yeah, I really like that. Um, the next book was Cherish Mercies. Um, actually, I liked all the books in this series. It's the Heart to Frontier, um, Heart Heart of the Frontier by Tracy Peterson. I gave all the books a five stars except for the first book I gave a four star. And um, <laughs> and then um, it's a story I read. I read these books and there's there's they're pretty good. It's a story about um, uh, three sisters who um, move or go across the United States in a wagon train and settle in Oregon and what happens in there um, and dealing with the Indians and, and um, Native Americans etc. So um, I really enjoyed that series. And then the next book I have on here is Wonder Woman The Warbringer by DC Icons um, number one by Lee Bardugo. I gave that a four star. I also listened to that on audio. Um, <coughs> Um, the next one I have is Return, The Return, Amish Beginnings by Suzanne Woods Fisher. I gave that a four stars, and I really, really like that. Um, that was interesting. I live in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, um, so I'm, I really enjoy reading about Amish, and I, uh, this was interesting to learn about the Amish beginnings. Um, the next book I have here is Beloved Hope. That's the, that's the second book in the Heart of the Frontier by um, Tracy Peterson. I gave that five stars, like I said before. The next book I have is Love Story by Karen Kingsbury. I gave that five stars. Anything by Karen Kingsbury, I'm going to give at least a four stars, probably a five stars. I love Karen Kingsbury. Um, the next one I have here is Unsold by Neil Schusterman, and that's a, that was a four star. Um, and then one of my least favorite books this year was Extracted by Extract, the Extracted Trilogy number one by R.R. Hayward. I gave that a two stars. I just did not like the book. I don't know. It was just, I didn't like it at all. And then the first book up by the Heart of the Frontiers by Tracy Peterson was Treasured Grace. And I gave, I gave that a four star instead of a five star, but... Um, the next book I have here is Boo Humbug by Renee Gutteridge. I gave that a four stars. That, that's been a really, um, I listened to that on audio. <coughs> that's been a really good, um, good book, um, series. Um, anything, it's called, it's, it deals with a, um, a town in Indiana. I'm from Indiana originally deals with a town in Indiana called Scary Indiana who have a have their own um, they have a Halloween 
you know, theme or whatever. And so, um, they also ha they have a, a resident ex horror writer, but it's a Christian it's a Christian book series. So, um, just so you know, but it's a really good good series. The next book I books I have here I have the Harbingers books one through eight, and I gave all of them a four stars. So, um, this is a book series by uh, four different um, Christian book authors. Bill Myers, Frank Peretti, Alton Gask Gasky, I think it is, and um, I forget France. I forget what the other woman's name is, um, but um, <coughs> but it's a good <coughs> it, it, it's a good series, um, Christian book series for kids. It's a more or less YA kind of thing. And then the next two books I read on um, an ebook, by and they are the Hatching, was the first book, and Skitter is the second book, by um, Ezekiel Boone, and it's about um, well, they're about like bugs and stuff that terrorize um, humanity. So they were pretty. That was pretty good. I gave those four stars each. And then the next book I have here is Outrageous Joy by the Women of Faith. I read that, I listened to that on audio. I gave that a five star. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I gave that a five star. Um, this is supposed to be my year of reading the Anne of Green Gables series, but I only made it through three of them. Um, I started the fourth one and I just kind of stalled out. Um, I was going to, I was going to read one a month, um, and I'll, I'm going to try to finish, finish that, finish that, um, read the next, finish the series in 2018. So, um, all of the, all of the Anne of Green Gables, I gave a five star. I read Anne of Green Gables, and I read Anne of Avonlea, <coughs> and Anne of the Island, and all of them by Lucy Maud Montgomery. And I read read them all in a physical book. Um, and then the next series I read was Pro Proxy, Proxy One, and Proxy the Guardian, which was Proxy Two by Alex London. Those were really good. Um, this seemed to be my year to read uh, series books books in a series. Um, I forgot to mention Unsold was in the series of the Unwind series by Neil Shusterman. And then um, the next five-star book I have is You Carried Me, A Daughter's Memoir by Melissa Odin. I gave that five stars. It's about um, a woman, obviously, and her, um, and her mother's and her mother. But um, anyway, and then uh, my next book I had was a five-star book was The Girl with All the Gifts. <coughs> by M. R. Carey. I gave that five stars. And then this last one, I guess, must have been my least favorite book of the year because I gave it a one star. And that was Demolition Love by Layla. And so, oh, no, nobody. Sorry, my dog's fired, biting me. <laughs> and then I gave four stars to Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And I... Five Stars to Christy by Katherine Marshall. Um, I read 80 books this year, um, which was 15 more books than last year. I listened to 30 audio, that included 30 audio books, which was 12 more audio books than last year. Um, I read the same amount of ebooks, 10 ebooks, and then I um, read 40 physical books for a total of 25,014 pages. Last year, I, that, that is, uh, 4,694 more pages than last year. <coughs> My shortest book was 88 pages. It was The Haunting by Frank Peretti. And, um, Oh, 
Okay, and then my longest book was 560 pages, which was Gone by Michael Grant. Um, the average length of my books were 313 pages, which was down by 10 pages um, from last year. And I read 100, and I went, my goal was 60. I read 80 pages, 80 books, I mean, sorry. And so I read 133% of my goal, and that was 3% more than last year. So, um, stop. So I'm going to come back and um, make another video. I'm sorry about this. My, my dog is wanting my attention. <laughs> and um, then I'm going to come back and do a uh, video on my reading goals for next year. Okay, thank you. Bye.